Enid Smith Becker, I'm a painter, and I'm delighted to be here in the Centennial Gallery in Kent. The, the work is acrylic on stretched canvas, but I um, work with a lot of mixed media. I add a lot of elements to it. You're gonna see the texture, and so I put a lot of texture with paint, uh, sometimes fabric, paper. I've even done dried plant materials, and it kind of is a connection to seeing and touching my touch. I mean, I think one of the things that makes real painting, real artwork, uh, so valuable is to see the look of the canvas and to be able to have that texture where someone can come and see it and you can see the trace of where my hand has been. In a way, when you see a photograph, you don't see that. So a reminder about touching the world, touching space and being a part of it. The work sort of developed around the idea of how we bring experiences to what we, when we go out into the world and to nature. We bring our own experiences and expectations. Most of us have a mobile device in our back pocket. And so we capture in bits and pieces our experiences in the out of doors. And so these windows or these frames are like lenses into different times and different space within the natural world. And so you might be in a spend the day at the beach and you might see it early on and then the light would shift or a storm cloud would come in or you come back a different day and it has a different feel. And so the paintings have these sort of sharp edges. So they have the fluid quality of the natural world and they have the sharp edges which mimic the way we see the world so often through lenses, but also the touch of the human view on the natural space. Often I paint seasonally. When it's cold outside, um, I'm, I'm painting snow. So the snow painting in here, I, I started in, in winter. It's not unknown for me to be hearing rain outside and I'm doing something that has a gray and rainy space. Or sometimes it's a little wishful thinking because I have some florals in this one too, thinking of a floral piece I was working on, thinking of uh, looking forward to spring and the sunshine of, of that. It's what they call gallery wrap. So the canvas is wrapped first and then I paint on it, but it's very much intentional. I want you to keep looking at it and keep finding things. I want you to stay there for a while. I think a painting's a place that your eye travels in or should travel in. And so by wrapping the image around the whole canvas, that keeps the continuity. So, it, so your eye moves through the space looking at things. And not only that, but it actually, if you move to the side, it moves around the sides. I think in particular, speaking of, of, of my work, I think the interest in creating something, a space for someone to come and find something, and a way to view something that you never viewed before. And so I would encourage people to come, coming to this wonderful space here in Kent, they might have their first chance to, to view art up close, because a lot of people have never had that experience. And it is life-changing, you know, to, to be able to see art and to see something that someone's hands have created, that you become a part of that experience by viewing it. Because when we create art as painters, or as artists, that's just half of the conversation. We create something and the rest of the conversation is completed when someone comes through and they look at it and they have that sense. It's a dialogue, although it's an unusual dialogue because quite often you're not there at the same time as the artist or it's happening after the painting's been done. But that dialogue becomes a rich space and it becomes a space for something that, that touches you and something that you may feel like you want to keep having that dialogue with and maybe you take home with you at some point.